Hi, Jim Shaw here from Crystal Group again. We're uh, talking today about uh, humidity testing and the, the equipment necessary to go do that testing and what you're really kind of looking for. So in MIL standard 810, it's method 507 is the humidity testing. So you can have, there's two different kinds of testing. You can have uh, normal humidity testing, which is generally a 48 hour test, uh, 24 hour hours, uh, then uh, let it dry out and then another 24 hours and then do the testing. Or you can have an, an aggravated test. An aggravated test is a full 10 day test where you're actually um, exposing the equipment for 10 days to the humid, humid environment. And uh, this, is, this is not just humidity, but it's also a temperature uh, process where you're extending the temperature up and down with the, the uh, relative humidity rate. So it can be a fairly abusive test in terms of uh, electrical contacts, um, things that uh, would uh, deteriorate with respect to the moisture and, and temperature. And those are the things you're kind of looking for is did you um, condense inside the system, did you get uh, water in, in, in a connector, uh, any, anything like that. So you're uh, looking for did you adequately protect the unit from humidity ingress. And so um, obviously humidity can have a detrimental effect on electronics. We use conformal coating here, um, a couple of different types of conformal coating uh, so that you can protect the connections and the, uh, the components on the board. And of course we, uh, we uh, buy by the uh, uh, standard practice of picking things that in the, in the units that can be uh, humidity protected and are resilient to that kind of uh, that kind of exposure. So that's what this test, this piece of equipment right here, this is a thermotron and it's uh, piped up with DI water to uh, do a, a humidity mist and it does a temperature range. Um, and generally that's from uh, plus 65 uh, down to 35 degrees um, centigrade. And so uh, the, as the temperature ramps, the humidity changes and it goes through this uh, cycle to exercise the equipment um, with the, the humidity testing. And so we've got, uh, you know, over the 24 hour period that you're doing the testing, you can, uh, you can watch that uh, cyclic test go on. Um, this machine is fed DI water and then it uh, essentially adjusts the temperature uh, based on like a, a, a standard thermotron. Uh, so this is kind of a what we, the, the type of equipment that we use and uh, can tell you a little bit about the testing that, that we do for humidity testing. So what are we looking for when we're doing this test? What are, you know, what are the things that we want to watch for? We're looking for any kind of corrosion that might occur on uh, surfaces. We're looking for contamination of electrical circuits. We're looking for materials that break down due to the humidity and heat, uh, swelling, um, any kind of material that's absorbing moisture and uh, it's detrimental to the effect of that, of that material. That's kind of what we're looking for here when we're doing this testing. So when we get done with the test or when we're doing the, uh, the basically the post-mortem on, on the product. We're, we're looking for the effects of any of those kinds of things as you're looking for uh, corrosion, rusting, screws, any of that kind of activity. Well that's our discussion on humidity and the testing that we do um, and why we do it. I hope you found that uh, helpful in your everyday activities as an engineer. Thanks.